Welcome, I'm Dr. Tom Warren and you're watching The Plant Doctor. What I wanna go over today are two companion plants that are absolutely great for hostas. So we're in mid-April here where I'm at. The hostas are coming up, they look beautiful. Uh, I have a hosta garden here in the backyard with around two dozen different cultivars of uh, hostas ranging from mouse ears, which is really small, to things like humpback quail which get really, really big, six, seven foot in diameter. The companion plants I wanna talk about, the first one is here in front of me. This is Solomon Seal. So Solomon Seal is gonna be USDA zones three through nine. We can grow this very far north, up into Canada, places like Southern Quebec, you can grow Solomon Seal and it'll grow all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So uh, places like uh, Tallahassee, Florida, Pensacola, Mobile, Alabama, you can grow Solomon seal there as well. Solomon seal can have a green leaf or a variegated leaf. And I love the variegated leaves of Solomon seal. It almost looks like an artist took a paintbrush and painted the variegation on the leaves. It also has a beautiful bell-shaped flower in the spring that hangs down underneath the vegetation. It does spread by rhizomes. So it is a spreader. I actually started this clump of Solomon seal two or three years ago from just maybe four, four inch pots of Solomon seal and you can see it spread out. You can dig these up very easily and spread them throughout your garden or you can just let them colonize like I've done here. Another great feature about Solomon seal is the fact that it is not going to be heavily pressured by deer. So if you're looking for a substitute plant for hosta, if you're in an area that has a lot of deer and you need a plant that can grow somewhere similar that a hosta can grow, look at Solomon Seal. So this is a part shade to full shade plant, especially in my area further south, I'm in Alabama. Uh, probably can take a little more sun further north. If you're in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Quebec, somewhere like that, can probably take a little more sun up there but our hot summers here, it does like in particular the afternoon shade. Let's go take a look at another companion plant for hostas. Another great companion plant for hostas is cucura or coral bells. And it gets the name coral bells from these little flowers that you see that are coming up here on the plant. One thing I love about coral bells is the fact that it's going to come in several different colors. You can get them in lime green like you see here. They can be all shades of red. Uh, they can almost be black. I know that there's a cultivar called obsidian and it is almost jet black. Just a wide range of colors that you can get with your coral bells. You can have a lot of fun in the, in the garden just doing different color arrangements with nothing but coral bells. USDA is on four to nine, not quite as cold hardy as the Solomon seal, but still very cold hardy. It can go very far north with uh, heuchera. This one will not spread by rhizomes and stolons near as much as Solomon seal will. You can divide this one up if I wanted to. This is fully rooted. I could divide that and get maybe two plants out of that if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna plant these today here in the garden. Just like with Solomon seal and hosta, this is a perennial. It's gonna die back all the way down to the ground and then come back every spring. And then when we have a frost in my area, that's usually somewhere between Halloween and Thanksgiving. So that early part of November, most of the time, it'll die back. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.